5G cell phone towers are slowly popping up around Kern County, but it's leaving some people who live here worried about their health. And 17's Karen has traveled around the county trying to find out if you should actually be concerned. From the mountains of Tehachapi to the edge of the Mojave Desert, the fear of impending 5G cell towers is spreading among small Kern County communities. Some believe it's a question of life or death. So the question is, how big of a health concern does 5G actually pose? And are companies putting the lives of residents at risk just for faster wireless service? We're starting our investigation in Boron, population 2300. It's a desert town on the southeast corner of Kern County. It's not the big city. We don't have the stresses, the crime rate. We don't have the gangs. We don't have... It's a nice place to raise your kids. Earlier this month, a Verizon 5G cell tower was put up about 1,000 feet from the high school. Everybody's kids either have gone to the school, go to the school, or play football in our community. So what is 5G? Right now, if you were to download a, like a two-hour movie, it would take maybe a few minutes. With the 5G technology in place, it would be less than 20 seconds. What do you say to those people who say, we don't need 5G, 4G is enough? The future's here. I mean, it's not only for our viewing pleasure and movies and things like that, but we start thinking about other technologies like autonomous driving. In short, 5G has 100 times the capacity as 4G, explains Nick Points, an expert in wireless technology at ARC in Bakersfield. As far as I'm concerned, that's why we don't live in a big city. So we don't need that. The Littlefields fear the high school's proximity to the cell tower could increase the risk of cancer for kids in the community, we'll get them, we'll get them. including their seven-year-old, Jacob. There's other locations that you can put those towers. They can put it, yeah, where there's I nobody. Mean, or put it up higher. Some may call their concerns extremist, but the Littlefields are not alone. One here at the equestrian. In April, AT&T proposed seven cell towers in Tehachapi. So this is our backyard view. I mean, we have One would stand about 100 feet from the Bentley's window in Bear Valley Springs. Dozens of residents have teamed up in opposition. There's just not a lot of research out there to, to be able to say that this is safe, not only today, but down the road. And I think uh, there's a great deal of concern about that. From advocating, from forming this group, what is your ideal outcome? What do you hope happens? We have almost a thousand signatures from our community asking that these towers be stopped at this point. So where does the fear of 5G come from? The research is conflicting. Some studies raise alarm around 5G. This is from the Environmental Health Trust. The effects include cancer risks. And some reports say wireless towers are harmless. In 2018, research by the American Cancer Society noted some people have expressed concern that living, working, or going to school near a cell tower might increase the risk of cancer or other health problems. At this time, there is very little evidence to support this idea. But in 2014, the World Health Organization noted cell phone use has been widespread for only a couple decades, not long enough for studies to conclude whether it could be linked to cancer. A recent investigation by the New York Times traces the fear of 5G back to Russian propaganda. Russia Today, or RT America, is a news show linked to inciting warnings. RT America came out saying that, that 5G uh, is causing its harmful, causing birth defects, brain tumors, cancer, and um, and like, you know, from the other side of it, you know, there's experts saying that no, that's absolutely false. However, in Russia, 5G cell towers are widespread. As other countries, you know, go into 5G, it's just going to open up medical advancements. It's going to open up, uh, you know, like autonomous driving, the Internet of Things. So I think there's a race to causing distraction on one side so someone else can get a leg up on the other. Research has also stated the higher frequencies of 5G are actually less harmful, less likely to penetrate through the skin and brain. But the little fields are still hesitant. Radiation is never going to be safe. Not even a little bit is, is okay or is it safe. Besides health concerns, the Bear Valley Springs group is worried about aesthetics. It's hard to imagine that a home that we've built that has a view out our backyard, potentially looking at a 70-foot tower, 
hard to imagine that, that that will not make it both difficult if we should decide to sell our property and it will impact the value of this property. California recently has been faced with the conflict of advancing to 5G or maintaining beauty standards. In January, in a lawsuit between T-Mobile and San Francisco, the state Supreme Court ruled that local governments can limit or even ban wireless towers for aesthetic purposes. My concern is that they're moving too quickly on this whole project. There are a lot of questions and they haven't been answered. Until more research is done, there will be both sides of the argument. Some who continue to fear for their health, and some who believe the fear is irrational. But for now, I'm Karen Hua in Bear Valley Springs, 17 News.